Welcome back. This is Ivy from Gypsy Road, and today we're going to talk about how the science lessons for Good and the Beautiful are laid out. Um, we're specifically looking at space science, kingdoms, and classification in arthropods um, because that's what I have on hand right now. So, the first one we're going to look at is space science. When you open these up, you'll see a list of what's going to be covered. And this is on Jenny's website. It tells you exactly what's written here um, so that you know what you're looking at. All of the sciences are covered from a Christian perspective, but they are not from a new or old earth perspective. Um, that is up to you to teach your children what your family believes. And they talk about the science journal that you'll be keeping. That's what we have here. They talk about the science wall. We do not put our stuff on our wall because our schoolroom is our kitchen. Um, so we keep our words just off to the side. They talk about the lesson mini books and how easy it is to prep. Um, this is specifically good for us. They talk about teaching older children. I'm going to be using the science with my son all the way up through eighth grade. And so I like the extensions that she puts on here. And they talk about which version you have. This just happens to be the first version. On the next page, it will tell you every single supply that you need for the whole unit. It also gives you read aloud suggestions, talks about videos. Um, if you've followed us for any length of time, then you know that we have video playlists for every single science section on our um, YouTube channel, and you can access that either through this page at The Good and the Beautiful, um, or you can access it directly from our YouTube channel. And then we go into lesson one. In lesson one, we're just going to talk about basic terminology of space science and kind of introduce it, as you would imagine. We read to our child. We're going to be looking at some photographs and pictures, and then we're going to be talking about the vocabulary. We have questions for comprehension. We'll be doing a little bit of writing and looking at our planet cards. Talking about facts about the Milky Way. This was a cutting and pasting activity. pages are stuck together. And as always with the good and the beautiful, there is plenty of artwork and pictures to look at to show how good and how beautiful our world is. Included in each lesson are vocabulary words. And a lot of people will cut these out, they'll laminate them, they'll make a word wall with them. As I said, our kitchen is what we use for our schoolroom. So we do not make the word walls. And the planets of our solar system, that goes with another activity. And there are also several mini books. One, two, three, four, five. So space science comes with six different mini books. In your student notebook, now, before I open this, I'd like to preface this by saying once again that my son is older, but he has dyspraxia, which is um, a series of developmental delays, and so his schoolwork is going to look like he's much younger. In lesson one, we were doing some writing, and then he had to put his planets in order. We talked about meteors and the shapes of planets and what a black hole is. There are a lot of writing activities, and he, he's really enjoyed doing these. Talked about the, He did a report on the Cooper Bell, planet cards, and I think his final lesson, he wrote what it would be like to live on Mars and why he would like to live there. In the arthropods unit, I'm going to take you a little bit further inside so that you can see what it looks like once you get out of the introduction. As with space science, we have our vocabulary for our word wall. We have several different mini books. And we're going to look at lesson four. It tells us which materials we're going to need specifically for this lesson and what we're going to be studying and what exactly you need to do ahead of time. In this lesson, we had insect stations. 
We set up stations around the room and each one fe featured an insect, such as mosquitoes, termites, fireflies, and silkworms. And at each of those stations, we did things like study the life cycle of a mosquito. With our mosquito trivia cards. We studied fireflies. And for this one, since it was a nice warm day, we actually went outside and we caught fireflies that evening. We have poems about fireflies and different readings and facts about them. We had readings about silkworms. We also watched a video about a silkworm and that's on the playlist that you can find on our YouTube channel. And in his science notebook, he drew and talked about the different parts of an insect. And he did a report on mosquitoes. In the Kingdoms and Classifications unit, I'm going to take you all the way to the very end so that you can see um, how it looks once we get to the end of the lesson. The last lesson in here is about the animal kingdom. Once again, it tells us what supplies we need, what we need to prep for. Um, we have different activities. We're reading out loud. We're still working with our vocabulary. Even though we go over it all on the first day, we review it periodically throughout the different lessons. We're using chocolate M&Ms this time to sort, just like we would sort our um, animals into classifications. This is a clam activity. We actually have a clam that we got off home science tools. I'll try and remember to leave a reference for that in the um, comment section. And we do a lot of dissection. Since I have older children, normally I'll just involve them in the science and we all get together and we do dissections. There's a booklet that goes with this one. We have fact sheets. And I will have him write a report on an animal from his of his choosing from the animal kingdom when we get to this lesson. There's a sorting activity. There are answers in there for you, Mom. I know that we're all very busy. We're talking about graphs and how we sort things. And then finally, we have our cards. I do not have anything to show you in his science notebook for this one yet since we just haven't gotten to this lesson. On our files page, you'll find extension activities. We don't have them for all of the science units yet, but we hope to by the end of the year. And those go along with the playlist to make your science a lot easier.